Hello there, this is part 6 of the PMI Reinforcement Hero Series. Today we'll be learning how to make custom skins. So, you can use this method on a duplicated character, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to do it on a pre-existing character. If you do not make uh, more than one custom skin for your duplicated character, uh, the skin will not be selectable. And if you only want to just have one mesh length, like one skin, just follow part five of the series and that'll teach you how. So for my pre-existing character, I'm gonna choose a clone commando. I'm gonna open up his ver. And you're gonna want to go to visual unlock assets and uh, make a new entry here. Then you'll want to go to create new. You'll want to make it a skin asset entry. And inside of here, we can generate our IDs for the skin asset file itself and our new skins identifier. So you'll want to open up the Battlefront 2 metadata converter, then you'll want to just make a random identifier, copy that, and we'll use that for the skin asset identifier itself. Then we'll make another random ID and just use that as the skin identifier itself. And then we're gonna want to go to visual unlock assets inside of the skin asset file. We're gonna want to make a new entry, and then we're gonna go to create new, and you're going to want to make it a part asset. And here you'll just want to paste in your skin assets skin identifier. And then you're going to want to generate a new ID for the part asset. And then you'll want to go to your skin infos, make a new entry. And then you'll want to go here, copy your skin identifier, and paste it in identifier here. And you'll want to go to the skin asset file itself. Just select the GUID at the top here, Control c to copy that, and just paste it in here, and make sure visible in UI is ticked. So now we have everything linked, and we just need to add it to the UI, but also, something I forgot to do really quick, is I need to add an actual mesh to that really quick. So I'm just going to add a bundleable mesh, and then I'm going to go to wherever this verse uh, UI metadata is. So you can check by clicking on the ver and just going to references if this is a pre-existing ver. If you're doing this on a duplicated character, just go to your duplicated UI uh, metadata file. I'm gonna scroll down and for the clone commando, the UI metadata file is special skin UI metadata. So I'm just gonna open that uh, go into items, make a new entry here, then we'll want to click create new, and search uh, skin here. Then we're going to want to select UI character kit appearance skin metadata. You're going to want to open that, and in identifiers, make a new entry here. Copy your skin identifier, then you'll want to go to your metadata con uh, converter. You'll want to paste it in here, and for our type, you'll just want to select everything uh, after WS shared dots for whatever your skin type is. And you'll want to paste that in the input metadata type, and your output is what you're going to want to put in the identifier slot. And then for the name localized string ID, is going to be the name of the skin itself. So I'm just going to go into the localization editor. Generate a hash for my new string and name it tutorial skin one add string. We can go to show only modified strings and it should show up here. I want to copy that identifier, go back, uh, click on create new, just make it a localized string ID, control A, control V inside of there, and your skin ID will be put in there. And for description, same thing, you'll just want to make a new string, generate the hash, we'll name it tutorial skin one description of course for the skin name and the description you can put in whatever you want just make sure to link them properly and gonna make a new localized string ID entry and I'm gonna control a control V to paste it in there so yeah that's how you make a custom skin hope this tutorial was helpful and I'll see you on the battlefront